Well, it's been a little while. Um, this was in far worse condition than I could ever, ever have imagined. Um, I'll get you in on it in a minute. But basically, where the... Where it comes out of the casing, the exhaust passes pretty much right past it. And there's supposed to be a heat shield fitted to this bit by here. This didn't have it. Which would explain why where the wires or where this uh, particular... So there, it completely, all of this, this wiring is solid, hard, crispy, it, it's had it. Not only that, um, when I looked into it a little further, uh, the green snapped completely. Um, that is the, which one's that? That's the other problem. As you can see, the colours are really well preserved not um but yeah we've had that this has yeah the orange that's gone there um and, and this is uh like an enameled wire leading directly out of the coil so my plan is to uh strip all of this get the wire find out what the state of this is and replace the wires from there back up to about but there it's right on the other side of it uh with i couldn't get all the cut all the colors but i managed to get this cooker wire it is so it's uh multi-core silverized siliconized uh glass fiberized and then use the relevant heat shrink to tie that in um that will then go into this particularly nice stuff, which is a glass fibre silicon thing, which will then fit through there. So hopefully all of this will be kind of like repaired nicely. I've tested the coil back to the sort of coils. Absolutely fine. It's performing really well. well I'm going to be doing a lot of soldering. So I'm going to replace the uh, connector because it's a standard connector with a new one. Uh, this one. Uh, I won't be. <laughs> so, because uh, in theory, I could just uh, quite literally replace that cable all the way down to there. But, yeah. So, we've got a bit of work to do on this. Um, there is a replacement available. Well, it's not actually available. They will rework this one, but they only rework this side. Uh, that side of it. That's the lightning side. This is the uh, ignition and generator side. So bad, it's actually burnt. <sighs> right, I don't actually know which one this is. So, because, yeah, it could be, I think it's brown, but. <sighs> right. All right, you can always rely on a, a boomer to have a printed copy lying around. It's really odd that I've managed to flip to the right page. It's even... There we are. Okay. Black, brown. Right. What's this one here? That is... It's red. Is that red? God. That looks orange to me. If that's orange, what's that one? That's white, green. So that one, this one here is an orange. This is brown. No, that's definitely orange. Oh man. Orange, red. Green, 
292. Oh, two, 230 to 250. So there you go. That's brown. That's one way of finding out. This is definitely, definitely, definitely. And the, the new wire that I'm going to put in here is uh, slightly more resistant, should we say. Oh, look at the steak on the crispy now. Right. Oh, okay. Of course, they're enameled wires, aren't they? So they're not going, there's only going to, the solder's only going to grip to this top bit by a... Uh, Right, so what I'm doing with this is I put enough heat shrink on that there, take that up to there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to seal that on there because I know that that's right. Well, what soil did they use on it originally? But good God almighty, it was hard stuff. Mind you. Of course, the other problem is, is that I can't solder to something that's already got solder on it because this won't be lead-free solder. got that these three here oh we have fun with those so we got these two which were undamaged which yes this is the best way I think I know the cables were these cables were undamaged but what I'm gonna have to do to get the sheath on there without I can't deep I can deep in the one connector I can't deep in and replace the other connector so I'm just gonna right um This has got to go underneath there, and that comes up. So I tell you what, if we make this this long, because I think that's plenty long enough there. <coughs> oh Christ, that is serious stuff. <sighs> There's no way all that's going in there, no way. Not a bloody chance. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, it might do. It might. So what I'm doing now is the original uh, loom. Where, um, oh, dear me. This is very, very strange stuff, this old art, art cable. It's also very difficult to get a solder to stick to it, even when you flux it. Right, so we're getting there, we're getting there slowly. And we are, we're doing the red now. But I've got to be honest with you, I've been on this now three hours. Yeah, it transfers the heat very well, this stuff. Too well, in fact. <sighs> I 
Oh. I don't think my song lines very well. I can feel heat coming out of it, but I think the tip its actual self is, uh, I might have switched. It's a number of years old. There is no easy way of doing this. Holes that uh, need to be adhered to. I've uh, got safety glasses on. Honest. Uh, I got my mother on speed dial, and I've double bagged. Ain't nothing going wrong here tonight. No, no sir. It's white one. Oh, one more left, one left, one left. It's getting late because I am making mistakes. Green goes on the bottom. Is that green? Yes, that's definitely green. <laughs> That this 
this one must be brown. Now, if we've got all this right, and I sincerely hope we have, then we should see the expected readings because the coil was okay before. So let's see what we got. Black to brown should be between 230 and 350. If I remember rightly, it was testing about uh, 294. So sometimes these are ended. Two nine one. So we got those two right. <laughs> right, uh, black. So, so that was the low speed. Uh, high speed is brown and red. So that's. Five, and I should be showing between five, four and six. So that's that one. All right, there you go. So what we got? The rest of it is white. Okay, lightning coils, white to orange. 0 0.6 to 0 0.9. So uh, white to orange. 0 0.8. Okay, so we got that one right. Uh, white to green is, uh, white to green, that's white to green, and that should be anywhere between 0.54 and 0.8. Oh. Um, and green to orange is 0 0.8 to 1.6. Wow, okay. So, I'm going to call that. I'm going to do all this heat shrink up. Make sure all this is all tight and everything else. Uh, I'm going to sort all this out. Wish I'd have put another piece of heat shrink on there. Oh, too late now. Right. Oh, we got loads. Hang up. <sighs> Something very satisfying about doing this. So that will actually fit nicely in there, but I don't think we're going to get the grommet on it as well. However, I'm not unhappy with that at all. Because the other problem I've got with this grommet is the fact that it is utterly battered. I can't get another one. I'm all right with that. Right, okay, just once that's moved in a bit there and I've got this in the right place. No, I don't. Ah, there we go. Yeah, okay. Right. Well, it's all tested, okay. So... I'm assuming that because we've now tested okay, 
and all the numbers stack up and everything is physically running as it well ah testing it i wanted to get this done before i attempted anything to do with the clutch because i wanted to make sure the bike ran because it was important that the bike ran uh a massive well I'm just talking gibberish now. So we've got a little bit of cable left over, which is always a good thing. But I'm quite pleased with the way that that's turned out. Um, it has saved me a significant amount of money over the cost of a new one. Or a replacement at least. Um, and the, I'll be honest, I'm not in any way saying that this would be better, you know, this is a uh, a better or worse or, you know, I'm just a cheapskate. Um, and I didn't see the, I see cheapskate, but you wire and each shrink with £24. Um, I didn't see the point in uh, doing so. I knew that I could kind of do it myself. And I know that a lot of you were sat there going, oh, my word. You t you, I, I, I don't. Well, I'm rambling now because it's extremely late. This, uh, uh, like with everything else, has taken me so much longer than I thought it would. This is four hours work gone into that. Um, which I... I'll be honest with you, I didn't expect. So, uh, I'm a bit disappointed that I can't get the grommet to work with that. But that grommet has seen better days. 